Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm having a good day today. Um, let me grab my gloves here. And we'll get going. I'm going to do 12 by 12. So one foot by one foot. And I'm going to do a Dutch pour today. Haven't done one in a while, so we're going to do a Dutch pour. Um, I've mixed my paints with just a little bit of liquid, sorry, Liquitex uh, pouring medium and gloss varnish, which is, this is another bottle, but it's the same difference, and water. And that's all I put in it for a Dutch pour, so let's get going. Um, we are going to do, I, we're going to do mostly, I say mostly, but we are going to do mostly um, Deco Art Metallics, and we have Pearl, we have Copper, we have 24 Karat Gold, and those are all the, the Deco Art Metallics. And then we've got Prussian Blue, which is right there. And we've got Turquoise mixed with a little bit of Prussian Blue. Didn't want it to be real light. So, and we have a little bit of, um, stir that up a little bit more. It's still a little thick. Didn't want it to be that thick. Um, we have a little bit of um, metallic purple. So we are going to get these off of here. And I'm going to put down my white, which is just... gonna do metallic colors because I love metallics we are going to do there's copper on top of the copper because I love the way it looks we're gonna do a little bit of the turquoise a little bit just kind of cover it around let's do a little bit of the blue this is the Prussian blue it's coming out pretty thick I didn't mean that to happen all the way around but that's okay it'll work out in the end let's put just a little bit more down here all right and I'm gonna put a little bit of gold mixed into this just a little bit of gold Kind of like the way gold looks. And we're going to put a little bit of this pearl. Just because I want a little bit of pearl in it too. We're going to dance that around a little bit like so. And I do have purple here. And we're going to put a little bit of purple in there. Just a tad. Just to kind of give it some noise. Let's put a little bit over here too. All right. Now, let's shoot this. This is my favorite part. White. White. White.
I said, this is my favorite part. Everything's a moving. All right, now, I do this on a low speed first to blow the white over, just to kind of give it a little toss, like so. Come back over here and do it again, just to kind of give it a little bit of a push over. And you want to kind of be sure you get it all covered. All right. Beautiful. All right, let's blow it out. I think that's pretty. I love how it just goes all the way across the room. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. Blowing this stuff out just is my favorite thing to do. I might leave the white. I don't know yet. I may change it here and there. But I kind of like the way the white looks in there. So I may leave the white. Let me see what happens with it. Oh, hooray. Look what just went into my, into my painting. Oh, he's going to run right off the painting. I'm going to let him go. Y'all see him? That's the friggin' bugs that we have here in Tennessee. They are everywhere. They are horrible. And like I said, they are everywhere. <laughs> I hate them. So he made me a little white line down there. That's okay, though. He kind of gave me a line. I can't believe he just flew into my painting. We have these bugs that are here, and they are horrendous. They are everywhere here in Tennessee, and they are just totally horrendous. So um, in the wintertime, we get them. I think they go underground in the, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall, and then they come out in the winter. And they go into your house and they're in my basement right now and they are everywhere and if i have a light on it's even worse so i'm thinking i'm going to go ahead and leave that though like that because it doesn't look bad right there where that bug just maybe the bug knew what he was doing maybe he thought it needed some a little bit of extra <laughs> maybe i don't know i'm going to put just a little bit more over here because i just need a little bit more here i'm not happy with this over here so Let's just do something with this. All right, I'm not happy with that, so. Let's just do a little something here. With that. Let's do a little something, something, something. With that, a little bit of copper. Put it over here on the side. A bit of purple. Put over here on this side. It's, all right. I like that. I think that's going to be beautiful. <laughs> Can't believe the bug helped me paint. Jeez. The bug helped me paint. You know, like, how dare he? <laughs> I didn't need any help. All right. They're like ladybugs anyway, in case you're wondering. I'm going to blow this white over. Just a little bit here. And we're going to blow it back this way. Just a little bit. And we're going to blow it out. I'm going to let it sit for just a second. I didn't like that side. There was too much blue in it, I guess. Let's see if we can't do something with that. Let's see what we get. I don't know. 
There might be too much white in it still. There may not be. You know, I can always do it again. I do it constantly. I work on these paintings constantly. It's a little better over there now, but just not quite what I had in mind. So let's try something here. Let's put a little bit of purple over here. There's no purple here. Let's put some purple there. And let's put a little bit more of the blue. We'll dip it on top of the gold. We'll put a little bit more of the white, put it right between them. I think that's probably what I shouldn't have done is done the white. That's okay though. Bit more of the blue. Into the white. And then here's copper. Yeah, let's put copper around it. That's kind of cool, huh? Ooh, look at that. Pretty. <laughs> There's the pretty alert. And we're just going to do one side. All right. going to do one side. Pull this over. And hopefully those colors will all pop up through the white. You think so? I'm getting a little nervous. Let's torch it and find out. Torch it and find out. Can't believe that bug did that to my painting. That's what I get. brought off a little bit more there. See if we can't bring in some more of the color on the side. Yeah, it's coming out. Little by little by little, it's coming out. It's kind of interesting, don't you think? I think it turned out pretty good. Actually, not too shabby. Even the bug spot, not too shabby. They're everywhere in here, and hopefully, as long as I can, I'll find something to cover the painting up with so they don't get on my painting. But hopefully, they will stay off of it because they're a pain. You know, they already, he already helped me right here, so I don't need any more help. <laughs> I don't need any more help right here. He helped me right here. See if we can't close that in a little bit so it's not quite so bright right there. This is coming out now. See this? It's coming out. I actually like this. I think this turned out really pretty. So I'm going to leave this the way it is and run with it. And hopefully, no more bugs. So, <laughs> um,. That will eventually, I believe, this right in here will keep going. So, but I think I like the colors that I just used. I think the colors turned out wonderful. And I hope that you liked it too. I know it always takes me a long time to do one side or the other, but let's take you. All right, let's take you in here for a close up. 
this side right here I really like. I like the uh, all the purling and the bubbling effect over here. I think that looks really cool. Remember, I didn't use anything in this paints except for water. And I used a little bit of the um, pouring medium and the pouring medium with the, um, the gloss in it. So, but here we have it. There's a little bit of a glare, I know. This side down here, I, I like. This white, I like. I really like this right here. I think this turned out lovely. Just lovely. <laughs> Up here, I think it looks pretty. I like that corner. How the corner turned out like that. And I believe that a lot of this white right here will still come through. It just takes time. Um, I like this over here. I think this turned out nice, even where I fixed the area there where the bug spot was. Uh, oh, there's another bug flying around. I guess I better go and cover this up. But all right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I will show you the dry version of this painting in the next video. Y'all have a great afternoon. Okay, this is that painting dry. Um, I don't like it. It's not bright enough for me. Um, it is just, I don't know. It's not really bright enough. It, it's rather dull. This one will have to have a coat of, probably, it will have to have a coat of resin over it in order to bring the color back out of it. But this would be the painting. See if I can turn it with the light in it. This is a painting I just showed you. And as you can see, it's quite dull. It just didn't turn out like it does with Floetrol. So I believe I'll be a Floetrol person from now on. Just is too dull for me. The purple turned out nice. Maybe a coat of resin will bring it back out. Um, but there it is. I've even actually thought about repainting over it again, just because I didn't think the colors turned out good. As you can see, they're quite dull. All right, well, thank you for watching.